everyone welcome to my craft room just having a bit of a fiddle with my camera there it seems to be a little bit high that's all right looks better okay uh as i say welcome to my craft room um a bit of a spontaneous session today i am going to be making um this box card here uh, anyone who watches my videos regularly knows that i'm a big fan of box cards uh, also because i i sell my cards online so they're all very good sellers so just bear with me for a minute while i my computer catches up with my screen here we go okay looks like we're all ready to go um hey hannah thanks for joining in um yeah so anyway today i'm going to as i say do this little box card here which i made this morning this is the first one i've made um I think I've got most of the components, but now looking at it, I haven't actually cut the cogs yet. So anyway, we'll have to get the, the um, big shot out in a minute. Okay, so it's basically just um, a, a standard box card. I'll go into the measurements for that soon. Um, with um, the components of our stamp set, which today is the geared up garage stamp set using and cut out using the, the, uh, the thinlets there as well. So um, without further ado, let's get started. I've got a couple of cards today, so um, settle down with a cup of coffee and, and relax and watch me get glue and ink everywhere. Okay, so um, here we'll get started. Okay, so what you start with with a box card, and, and there's millions of them on Pinterest, so I'm sure you guys have all seen them before, is you start with your box. Just bear with me while I get rid of all these other bits. And to make the box, I here have got it'll take with the card itself will take one sh a four sheet of cardstock whichever color you decide on um, yeah so um, you basically this is a ten and a half inches by five inches and then I've scored it I don't know if you can see that in the in the shadows of my craft room anyway I'll put the uh, I've scored it at two and a half five seven and a half and ten so I've scored it from top to bottom and then lengthways along halfway at two and a half inches. So you've got sort of a grid there and then with your trimmer you trim down halfway and that forms the flaps um, there. So as I say I'll pop those details on my blog but anyway so it's ten and a half by five scored at two and a half, five, seven and a half and ten halfway at two and a half and then cut down to halfway so basically what we do is we get rid of this little tag here this one here just on the edge there and that forms get rid of that and there that forms the little tag that you will eventually use to um, glue your box together so I'll just fold this and then pop some glue on there old glue on there so pop some glue on there on that little tag I'm just watching for people to come on oh, hi Joyce hi Kathy hey Margie thanks for joining me so I've just got a little bit of glue on there and I'm just forcing that just give it a couple of seconds to dry because you don't want that one to come apart my cut's a little bit rough there just really I'll cut that down my blade must need replacing just straighten that a little bit okay so that's glued somewhere there um, there and then I I also fold it the other way as well just to make sure that all the um, all the uh, folds are nice and firm okay so that's glued and nice and straight so if you fold all those out you've got your basic box so that's a basic box card there so make that look a bit prettier we have some panels of the um, the DSP the 6x6 DSP which goes with the set it's the garage classic garage DSP now these are all items out of the occasions catalog so they're available through to June um, but there it's one of my favorite sets so from as you can see the papers well and truly used um, from the classic garage so I've got four little panels there 
and the panels are two and three eighths inches square so we've got four little panels for our the flaps of our card so I'll just add those Okay, so getting my steering wheels up the wrong right way. So I mean, I'm using the steering wheel one, but you can use practically anything with a bit of red um, to match the real red cardstock. Just pop my glasses on so I can watch the watch the the um, comments coming through. Glasses on, glasses off. It seems to be my eyes at the moment. So we've popped those panels on all the way around. number three so that's all our bottom flaps done and then this last one just pops on the back just there okay so there you can see we have the foundations of our box card now we just get to do the fun bit to, to decorate it so it folds flat as you can see with my original it folds flat in a square envelope like that and then pops up if the glue doesn't make it yeah, it pops up on display like that okay so I might just pop that aside for a second just let the glue dry on that and we can start with the fun bit so the stamping that you need from the geared up garage um, stamp set you've got the car the um, gas can the petrol canister and the toolbox which I've got all stamped up here just on little scraps of, um, of whisper white and our tuxedo black and just stamp that up pop that one on there go and the car same thing oh. needs a bit of ink that one just on this little piece here good use of the scraps that we always end up with there we go so there's our car okay and to color in our car I have used the wonderful blends which everyone knows that I'm absolutely in love with um, the red car I've done the car in red as we know red cars go faster um, so I've used poppy parade that's about the best matching red that we've got in the blends at the moment and basically we just color we've grown up coloring in here just coloring it all the way around I'm not going to make you sit and watch me color all of them just okay basically I color all the car in red and I've got the light smoky slate I do the um, the windows so I give them a little bit of a bit of a glass look and I did the grill and the bumper in the smoky slate so this is the light smoky slate okay so I'll keep going with that the toolbox I have done in light and dark poppy parade and with the tools I use the smoky slate to do the tools I don't know if you guys have seen that one it's got lots of little spanners and things in there and the can the fuel can I've done in Poppy Parade just to continue the red theme. Uh, so I did that in Poppy Parade. Yeah, sticky glue there. And 
contrasted that little central thing with hey Wendy hey Chrissy Ann hey Gail thanks for sharing and popping along and that little highlight there which I suppose would be the label of our can I've done in dark daffodil delight so they're the colors that I've used I've got our dark and light poppy parade the light smoky slate and the dark daffodil delight anyway save you watching me doing all that there's some I prepared earlier it's got a bit of ink on there but anyway so that's the ones I've prepared now I'm just going to pop them through with the framelits I'm going to pop them through my big shot so just talk amongst yourselves for a minute just pop these through I won't bring the, um, the big shot over to my table because it does tend to make things wobble around a little bit so there you go And there, and there. And what sort of day is everybody having? Um, I was sick from work this week, so I'm only just starting to feel human again, but uh, it's, uh, it's good to be out the other end of it. I um, took my golden retriever, Rosie, to the vet today, and she got a, not a clean bill of health. She had an operation about 12 weeks ago, so... She got a thumbs up that she's moving in the right directions, which is good. Um, she's 11 years old, so she's getting on a little bit for a big dog. And uh, so we're sort of happy that she's getting, you know, she is moving in the right direction with her recovery, which is good. So now she just needs some exercise and to get some weight off, which um, if anyone can work out how to do that, I'll do that myself as well. Anyway, so that's that there. So there's my images cut out there. I also need this large um, cog, set of cogs, which comes with the set. I need that in silver for the background. And I need a couple of those little ones as well. So just bear with me and I'll put them through. I haven't got my silver here. Where's my silver? So here's my silver foil. I just cut it to the right size so I'm not popping the whole thing through. Oh, Chrissy, you got back from your chemo. How did it go? I'm here that can knock people, knock you around a bit. So I'm glad you're uh, watching me craft. So I'm going to do the big one. I'm also going to do a couple of the a couple of the smaller ones as well. So just cut my foil and I'll cut those through as well so just bear with me again yes so my rosy girl is looking like she's on the mend which is good as anyone who's got animals knows it breaks your heart when they're not well so just especially dogs I don't know about cats so much but they Dogs are just so trusting. I know Rosie will look at you with those eyes and you'll think, oh, I want to make you better. Okay, so we've got that big one done there. Just get rid of the bits and bobs out of that one. Got our big cogs there. And come on, you one little one there. And we'll pop the little one through again. Sorry about the off camera action. Oh, should have done this before I started, but I forgot. I was getting ready for to do a couple of cards today so anyway here we go so we've got our second one of the little set I'll just put those over there okay so I think that's just about what we need to get started decorating okay so here's our box back so also what I've got here are a couple of little I suppose you'd call them brackets that I've cut 
Now they are pieces of red, um, real red again, and these times I've cut them to three and a half inches by about an inch and a half and scored it half an inch from each end so they form a little sort of like C bracket. And if you have a look with the box, they actually fit in nice and snugly into the box and that's what we use to decorate or to to attach our decorations to. Okay, so first of all I might take the big um, set of gears that we cut and they actually have put those on the back so we're to form a, back, a background to our card. Just give it a nice sort of garage feel. So I might just pop those on first. So just a little bit of glue, don't go too mad with it. It doesn't have to hold up in a storm or anything. So I'll just glue. Now it's going to um, overlap the edge a little bit. So just sort of stick your glue into this the central bits along around here, just in the centre, and then just position it here. So the envelope I'm going to be using this one in, I know that it, when closed up, that this will fit. So I've gone over the height of the card a little bit. You can see there, just sticks up a little bit. But I know that the envelope I'm using will, will fit that okay. So that's our background there. I'll just pop that aside to dry. Okay, so let's mount these up as well. So we've got our... Uh, our petrol tank, our um, toolbox and our car. So we'll do our car first. I'm going to put the car on the back one and I'm going to mount it up quite high so that you can eventually see it over the the top of the, the front of the decorations at the front. So here I've got a small piece of clear acetate. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably about one inch by an inch, inch and a three quarters, something like that. Anyway, so I use those to mount my decorations sort of invisibly. So I'll first I'll put a little piece of glue at the top there and make a sort of lollipop, car lollipop with that. Just hold it so it dries a little bit. And sometimes you have to experiment with the glues that you use. So I don't often, I often use a different glue when I'm mounting these up. But, you know whatever works best for you and then what we'll do is we'll put a bit of glue at the bottom as well you do have to do a bit of experimenting with this just going to have a look here and if you can see down in there there's probably three quarters of an inch or so centimeter centimeter and a half between the uh, between the car and the base so I'll just do the same thing here pop that there just in the center so there we've got our car mounted okay so and I also this is where I've popped these just to give it a bit of a look like it's um not so much balancing floating in air um, I've got a couple of these little of the little cogs I'm just going to mount those up underneath our car just get rid of those so sort of like one here and one sort of here just in there you'll see the end result when I pop it onto its thing pop it onto its into the box okay so a little bit of glue on this so that one's going to go there so I'll put the glue on the big one Make sure I haven't gone off the just on the big one there and glue that in there. And then the other one, same thing. I'll just pop some glue on the big one because that's what's going to be in contact with the card. And I'll pop that one 
Yeah, as well. Cool. Okay, so there is the first, pop that behind the car, and that one behind the car as well. There's our first decoration for our box. And so we just pop that in there and you can keep it up fairly high so that you've got like a fair bit of, of the red card showing, but just so that it's the right height. I won't actually pop that in permanently yet until I see how high the front layer is. I often sort of get all my layers ready and then glue them in once I know, once I'm happy with, with how they are in relationship to each other. So we'll leave that one. We'll do the second one. So I'll be somewhere here disappeared. I've got two more little pieces of acetate. There's one. The trouble is they disappear and you can't find them. Oh, there's the other one. Here we go. Two more little pieces of clear plastic. So we'll just add a little bit of glue to that one. There's a hair there. A little bit of glue to that one. Mount up the petrol can. On you stick, don't stick to me, stick to the card. Okay, and then another one, just a little bit of glue there, and onto the toolbox. And wrap that one in there. So I wrap them both. Just wipe my hands, getting a bit gluey. Let them just dry a little bit. Okay, so we'll attach these, same as we did with the um, with the car. We'll just attach these onto our other bracket here and here, just with another piece, a little bit more glue, some fluff there. I spent so long with the dogs today, I've got fluff everywhere. Anyway, so we'll attach. There's worse things to do, I suppose spend time with your dogs. I'm just attaching this one. Who else is on? Margaret. Hi Margaret, thanks for joining me and, and Karen. Thanks guys, welcome to Friday. Has anyone got anything exciting planned for the weekend? I've got to get my swaps ready for New Zealand or I'm going to be rushing at the last minute and I don't want to do that. Quite looking forward to New Zealand. Anyone else going to New Zealand? In next month. I know Donna and I are and, and Leanne from our group. Quite looking forward to it. Although I've never travelled to New Zealand on my own. I've been there several times but usually with with um, with family. Uh, Wendy, um, I haven't bought the acetate from Stamping Up. I don't know if it's in the catalogue. I um, use well, yeah, I do recycle packaging, but I also have a, and this is a bit of a cheat, I actually have a laminating machine. And when I'm not using it for laminating, I just run blank, you know, laminating folders through. And I think it's it's really, um, it's a good, cheap, effective way of making clear acetate. So, you know, when you buy your laminating sheets for, I don't know, really cheap by the hundreds um, and, and they make really good acetate for this for mounting these decorations so there you go okay so I've got our two brackets two little decorated brackets there so I'm going to pop those in I'll pop the front one in first as I say just to um, just to gauge the height for the back one so just a bit of glue there on each side and pop it into the box and this one I will put flat so it's a sort of um, flat with the top with the top of the box or what would we call it flush with the top of the box is the word I'm looking for so pop that roughly straight and then what's very important with these is you have a test fold because then the, the the flaps will find their own 
natural position in the box. So both ways have a bit of a test fold and then force down where you, you know, sort of firm down where you know that the edges with the glued edges are. So that's fine now that folds nice and flat. So we've got the back the front one on. So I'll now position the back one so that the car is visible over the top of the of the, the front decorations. So that has to be quite high as you can see there so it doesn't get masked by these two. Maybe could have taken those down a little bit but that's fine. So I need to just put glue on the bottom half of this one. Of course you could actually just extend up the, the clear plastic, um, just make it taller that way but that's fine. I just let the more of the cardboard come out. Yeah, Karen, I um, thanks for that. Yeah, it is. I was quite pleased when I discovered it because I do use a lot of the clear. So as I say, I do make a lot of box cards for customers and friends and things. Seem to be my thing. Okay, so I've got that back one on. So as you see, it's only sort of halfway up, but, but that doesn't matter too much. And again, have a bit of a practice fold just so that you can force down those edges a little bit and make sure that everything folds flat. Okay, so what does everyone think of that? It's quite quick, quite sweet, isn't it? So it's a nice sort of 3D effect with a lot of bit of bling on there just for good measure. Okay, so I think the only other thing I have done with this card is actually do a little red um, shield, a little red, I suppose it's actually meant to be a, a sort of a, a bonnet or a hubcap decoration. It's just this little, this little framelit here and I've done it in real red, which for the life of me I can't find, I can find my real red right now. Hang on, bear with me, let's get over here somewhere. So here's a little piece of real red, so I'm just going to chuck that through the Machine. Thanks, Chrissy. Yeah, I, I like it as well. I'm Wendy. Thank you. Okay, so I've got that little um, thing. I don't even know what it's called, guys. You have to help me. Sometimes your words um, escape you when you're doing your videos. Okay, so the stamp set itself has some nice some nice sayings. It's got you jumpstart my heart, all geared up to celebrate, best dad, happy father's day, you're a classic. So they're all nice, so it's not father's day, so I don't want to bother using that one. You jumpstart my heart, that's a little bit personal for, for something that's going to go online. So I've steered away from those at this particular time and I've used the happy birthday just to keep it simple and um, general. Um, I've used the happy birthday out of perennial birthday. But I mean, if you've got a favourite sentiment that's about that sort of size, you know, go for it, guys. So I will just stamp that up and attach it to the front. So just bear with me, see the top of my head. No, it's all right. Had my roots done. So there we've got our happy birthday. You thought, I thought, a thought bubble. Yeah, actually, it does look like a thought bubble, doesn't it, um, Chrissy? Maybe I could have used that last week when I did that frog one. I wanted a thought bubble for that, didn't I? Anyway, so I'm just going to attach that at the front with some glue. And then it's pretty much done. So what I do with these cards, just pop this on the front there. Just let that in the right position. I think on the original I've got another little silver um, lot of um, gears on there. Yeah, I have, but I'll, I won't do that this time. Just because I don't want to disappear off into the big shot again. So what I usually do with these cards, as I say, they, they fold flat. And people often say to me, where do I... Where do I write? I don't know where to write on it. So what I actually do is pop a panel of white cardstock just on the back there. And that's where people can write 
there you go see there white that's where people can write their sentiment on it rather than writing on the front of the card okay so and as I say that goes in a square envelope so you have envelopes of every size and shape in my little stash so it just folds flat into an envelope like that okay so that's that one that's the geared up garage garage box card uh, so um, I hope you like that one and give it a bit of a go um, so what I was going to also do today is show you the cards I have prepared for my current online class and uh, have a bit of a go at making one of those just to show you what you can expect if you enroll so I've designed five oh bit of a giveaway everything's fallen out I've designed five cards for my class using the Beauty Abounds bundle and featuring the um, featuring the colours uh, oh gosh remind me um, Highland Heather and Balmy Blue and there's also a little bit of um, what is it Sahara Sand there as well so I've done this cute little easel card which I seem to do a lot of but it's a cute little card that just sits up like like that with the butterfly and the the nice colors of that which is just a little hello I've done an easel a reverse easel card I hope you see the way the shape of that one goes it's a little reverse easel card just with the butterfly cut out and the stamps and using some of the lovely Highland Heather um, gingham paper so the reverse box is quite sweet I like those also made a sweet little just a plain card with the flowers the, the butterflies from the set um, a little bit of ribbon and again using the gingham paper and that's got a quite a sweet little um, sort of floral butterfly inside that one's just for you it's got the trim of our lovely silver uh, silver edged um, ribbon there um, and finally I've got just a plain little thing here uh, with just some just the sort of butterflies and a friend is someone who chooses you out of the whole world of people which I think is quite lovely so that's the f oh and this one here this is the I think this is my favorite of the group this is just um, it's a nice little layered card with um, the sentiment there so what I thought I'd do is just give you a bit of a taster. I think I will actually make um, this card for you. Ta-da! Look, I've, this one I prepared earlier. Um, and, um, yeah, I'll just prepare, uh, just uh, make that one. And, uh, you know, you guys might be tempted to, to do the class as well. Okay, so basically, as I say, the colours are um, Highland Heather and Balmy Blue. So I've got a standard card base here, which is uh, eight and a quarter inches by five and three quarter. And I've scored that at four and an eighth just to make a normal card base and pop that aside. Then I've got two panels, one for the outside and one for the inside of Whisper White. And they are just slightly smaller. So eighth of an inch smaller all round for our card base so there's one for the outside and one for the inside so I'll just keep that one out and then I've got other various panels which we'll come to in a second so this large white panel here is going to be sort of like a homemade DSP sort of like a homemade paper um, which I'm going to use the stamp set and as I mentioned it is the Beauty, the Beauty Abounds stamp set so I've got my Highland Heather there, and I've got to find my Balmy Blue or whatever I have that's close. Bear with me. I'm going to have to make an, a, a confession here that that's not actually Balmy Blue on the card because it's one colour I actually don't have. But I've got it on order, so by the time the class starts, I will actually have it. So I've actually used Pool Party, but uh, pretend that's Balmy Blue sure you guys have got an imagination to do that so let's just stamp up so the stamp set comes with some really interesting little shapes it's got little bubbles I think those would be little bubbles um, here which I'll stamp which I'll mat up and do them in Highland Heather 
So this is just a random stamp all stamp it all around and get it on your fingers and then get it on the paper. Flip, flip that over. Anyway, let's start again. Get the Highland Heather and just do some stamping all the way around so evenly around the outside. So you just need to go on the outside because obviously we're going to be covering the centre with um, with another panel. So just do the Highland Heather around the edge. This is in the big bubble. That is Highland Heather, isn't it? Yeah. And just take it all around with one. So this is just the big bubbles from the set. Okay. And then there are some beautiful little bubbles. What time is it? Looks like people are picking up their kids. We've got peak hour outside my craft room window. So we'll use the blue. Now we're pretending is balmy blue, but we all know he's actually full party, but it's going to be balmy blue. Just in the with a little bubble, and we'll just take that all the way around as well, just in between. Just move, rotate it around so you get a different sort of aspect to it. All the way around, filling in the gaps. There we go. So that's quite sweet. I'll actually do some, just one sort of layer in just in case our layers don't quite cover it all we've got something that would sneak sneak its nose out from behind it just in case okay so that's the blue yes I love the butterfly set too Karen I, I think I, I discovered it late I'm sort of regretting that I didn't find it earlier Okay, it's also got this, the set's also got this little sort of, I don't know, what we call that, sort of like fairy dust or, I don't know what you'd call it, little spots, little misty spots. And I've done that in Sahara sand, if I can find my Sahara sand. Where are you? There you are. So I've got my Sahara sand here. And I think I'm just going to do that um, stamped off once and then, yeah, that's what I want. So you're just sort of basically giving it a bit of a, a bit of a sort of a bit more solid background, just taking the, the Sahara sand all the way around, make sure I don't get mixed up. Remember to stamp off once. Nothing worse than stamping off thinking you're not stamping off thinking you've stamped off and you haven't. Okay, so that's our background there. That's quite sweet. I do like these colours together. I never thought I would. Not big on colours. Hi Carol, thanks for joining me. You're on my second card now. We've already done our um done our uh our garage one, our car one, and we're just doing a little um, a little second one here. Okay, so that's our background. So what I will then do is, I've got these other pieces cut. I've got a panel of balmy blue, which will basically sit in the centre there. It's two, and then a white. So the white is two inches by four, and I'm getting glue every, ink everywhere here. The white panel is two inches by four and three quarters and the blue one is just an eighth of an inch wider both ways. So what I do with this one, as you can see with the original, I've got the butterfly there and he's got like a tray, he's trailing sort of butterfly dust behind him. So that's what I'll do on the white to pop that one aside. So I've got to do the butterfly 
And to cut out the butterfly, obviously, we use the, if we can find it, we use the framelits, which I'll pop somewhere now and can't find. Oh, here, is that there? Yeah, so this is the Butterfly Beauty Thinlets. Anyone who's seen this set knows that you just get so much with this set. You get the two layers of the butterfly, um, sort of um, the butterfly image, or butterfly, sort of five little butterflies all sitting together. So you get, there's a like a back and a front for that. So you get a, like a double layered butterfly. I'll show you on this one. So you've got the, the back butterfly is in smoky slate and the front one is in um, in Highland Heather so it gives it a nice 3D effect. So you've got both of those. And then if you didn't think that was enough, you get so many, so many little butterflies. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten tiny butterflies, then you get four or five middle sized ones. You get a nice little sprigs and, and greenery and stuff as well. So so many butterflies that you just you'll never be lacking again so with this the butterfly I've used on this one I've actually just used part of the big butterfly so what I'm going to do in um, Barmy Blue and Highland Heather I've just cut pieces of cardstock that can just fit behind the butterfly that I'm particularly after rather than cutting the whole thing and wasting it I'm just going to cut out just those little parts which is the butterfly I'm interested in using at the moment so I might bring the big shot into the picture for that, just to show you what I mean. I'm not losing my other little bits. Bear with me, I'll bring her over. Okay, prepare to wobble. Here we go, there's the big shot. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to do part of it. So the bottom one, so this is the bottom one that's got sort of more substance to it. And I'm doing him in, and I'm just checking, in Barmy Blue. So as I say, it's just this little butterfly here that I'm after. So all I'll do is cover him with a tiny piece of cardstock and then run it through. away and you can see I've got that first little butterfly there and I'll do the same with the other one just covering over the little butterfly that I'm after with in this case it's Highland Heather and run that through yep you don't want to go through now take away the excess there and you can see I've just got that one little butterfly just move that over right now okay so just take the bits out now I found when you're doing the whole butterfly with this set and I don't know if anyone else has experienced it as well you need to pop it through a few times or use your precision plate it's just because it's so fine and um, sometimes it doesn't cut completely so I put it through a few times or, as I say, use the precision plate. Thankfully it looks like this time it's worked okay. Just get him out there. Come on you. She says, hoping he's coming out all right. Excuse me. Use my scissors, give him a bit of a poke. There, got him. Him, must be him. Okay, so we'll just get rid of the inlets and a bit of the muck. Okay, so I've got just the little butterfly from the, from the framelit that I want. And I will just cut off, and if you're just a bit careful with your scissors you can just cut it into the shape that you want it to be so he just looks like 
he's all by himself and was meant to be. So that's the blue bit and here's the highland heather bit. So I'll just coat that a little bit of a trim. You can actually, I found with the cards that I did here, with these, what, one, two, three, one, two, where's the other one? One, two, three. Actually, you notice that each of these cards use a different, different butterflies from the, the one die. So I actually ran it through my machine once and then cut the, the butterflies into three lots. So this one here has got those three butterflies. This one has that butterfly and the one we're using has this butterfly. So rather than cutting three different, um, yeah, cutting it through three times, I actually just did it once and separated the butterflies out. So that's a good way to use this die as well. So we'll pop that aside. So here's our little butterfly. Just pop that aside. So we'll just pop him together. And what I've done with these and what I like to do is just join it at one place, just here on the body. And then the wings sort of look like they're um, sort of uh, free and sort of moving around free. It gives it a nice sort of 3D. Even just put a little bit of glue on the antennas because they do get quite, they are quite fragile. So it would be best to sort of reinforce them. But if you just use that one little patch of glue... They're not going anywhere in a hurry. So and then they just reinforce the put the stick the, the antennas together. But then you sort of have a little bit of a little bit of a dimension there with the wings. Sort of a bit loose, a bit flapping loose. Okay. Oh hey Stephanie, thanks for joining. So here we go. There we go, so we've got our butterfly, so we'll just pop him on there. So to do that, the little butterfly trail, as I say, I've used the, I still got it, no, there it is. I've used the little sort of spray from the set and the Highland Heather um, ink and you can see here, I've actually, if you try and look underneath this one, it actually sort of twists, which I sort of quite, was quite nice. So it starts here, heads over that way, and then back up there. And so that's where my butterfly is. So it looks like he's sort of winding a trail um, across the card. So we'll do try and do that again. Often with these things, you do things once and you just couldn't do it again if you tried. But anyway, we'll try. And I think this time I've actually stamped off with the Highland Heather just to make it a little bit, yes, I have, a little bit finer. So you can see the way the, the stamp goes. It has sort of a longer axis. So if you actually, you can use that like a compass to to uh, guide your, your butterfly trail. So I'll do the first one that sort of points that way. And then the next one can sort of be a little bit straighter up and down go next one can sort of come back a little bit so you guys seeing what I'm doing there sort of a bit of a bit of a curve in there and then the next one can sort of go back into the center and our butterfly is going to sit there at the very top of that so that's quite cute um, I've done the geared up, I did that the first, uh, Sue, Sue's asking whether I've done the geared up box. Yes, I've already done it, Sue, you might have to watch the replay. I did that at the first part of the video. I'm actually just doing the butterfly one just as a bit of a taster for my upcoming class. So, yeah, watch the um, watch the replay at, right at the beginning for the box. I think it's quite cute. Anyway, so I'll just position my, should I position my, I might actually layer it up first so I've got my layer of balmy blue there so I'll just attach my white okay so there we go just with a little bit of a balmy blue 
edge all round and then I'll pop my butterfly on so when I'm actually attaching the butterfly to the paper I actually use a little bit more glue than I did um, attaching the butterfly to itself so to speak so just in those larger areas so if Michelle's on she knows what I'm like with glue I get it everywhere so I try to be a little bit conservative we'll just pop him on there he's going to slightly overlap the edge of that panel which is fine just looks like he's um heading off and out of the off the card and out into into the world okay so i've also got and as i say this stamp this um uh this um bundle has got so many little butterflies there's uh, several little butterflies that you can also use so I've cut some of those out already out of balmy blue and they will pop on there as well but I might pop those on last once I've got everything together so I don't position them incorrectly so we've got our sentiment so I can actually pop this on here so we'll pop our butterfly onto our our bubbles just onto the center here Here we go so just pop that in central as you can see we've got the background there nothing sort of pops out no more no gaps there it just sort of is all covered so I'll make that as central and as straight as I can okay so that's that there then our sentiment will pop on this white so the sentiments in this are quite sweet um, this one I've used our friendship isn't one big thing and so the second half of that is it's a million little things so that's quite sweet for a friend but our friendship isn't one of your things so we'll just pop that onto a block yeah. cool and I'll just do that in black straight as I can cool so that's that's that on there oh, is everyone seeing everything it just looked like it had stalled then but no that's all right it's up and running so here I have a square that's done it's got like a little um, corrugated edge that's from the layered squares stamp uh, framelits but you could just do it as a cut it as a square if you wanted to there's no need to have it like that and I'll pop my sentiment on there so it just pokes out of the edge with a slight, slight little corrugated effect a peak of blue and I've put that on on with some dimensionals on with say four I think four will be enough yep. and we might just give that just in the little where the where the um, the butterfly trail dips out like that, we just pop our pop our sentiment on on there. Okay, that's really cool, really nice. Um, and now our little butterflies. So just to add something a little bit special, I've just got these tiny little butterflies from the from the set, and I'll just get rid of their little fine cutout parts. Forgive me, I should have done that before. Anyway, I'll pop them on. I think one sort of there. It's like the butterfly babies. And one down here. Just to give some colour in the places where we haven't got anything on the card. And I think I put one on here, which I think is quite sweet as well. So we'll just put a tie. Actually, I'm going to use, because I'm getting glue everywhere, which is my usual trick. I'm going to use 
I'll use glue dots for the for the tiny little butterflies just knowing that I'm going to make a horrible mess if I don't so we'll just use glue dots hey Marilyn thanks for joining us oh and Jenny hi thanks for joining me I'm just about finished this is my second card it's just a bit of a taster for my online class if the guys any of you guys are interested I've designed five cards using the um, using the Beauty Abounds bundle and this is one of them just giving you a little bit of a, a taste of what you can do if you enroll for the class the box card I've already done so if you'd like to watch the replay that's right at the beginning of the ta of the of the video so I've got our three little butterflies there cool. and just for a little bit of bling and we all like a bit of bling I've got a I can find them sorry I should have got these out earlier just got a little jewel um, on our butterfly ah, where are you? No, I can't find them I must have put them somewhere differently no oh, bit out. a little I think they were little water droplets or something I think or they came out with the um, with the it during the Christmas holidays catalog, so I'll just get one of those off. But you could use any any little jewel that you happen to have at home and pop that on our butterfly, just for a bit of bling. Okay. So I will now attach him to my base card. Getting a lot of stuff here. So there's my base card. So I'll attach this to there. The right way up would help. Put that on there. Now the inside. I'm actually going to do slightly differently to the one I've done for the class. The one I've done for the class I've done quite, just pop that aside. The one I've done for the class I've done with the butterflies down the side. I'm going to do it slightly differently for this one. I found a, another, this is our inside panel here. I'm actually going to use the this cute little climbing spray in my Sahara sand. And a block and I'm going to use this to make a little um, a little uh, sort of a background a little border one there and then flick it around and put one there that's quite sweet isn't it and then I'm going to get my, if I can find it, my lovely lavender, my Highland Heather, my Highland Heather blend. Dark, I want my light Highland Heather blend. Here it is, it's my light Highland Heather blend. I'm actually just going to very roughly colour in the, the flowers that are a part of this. And when I say very roughly, I mean very, very roughly. Um... Not even bothering to sort of get to the lines. I just want it to be almost like a touch of colour. Just something a little bit more, something a little bit more casual about it. I quite like it that way. So that's those. So just, just, yes, yeah, so just sort of keeping to the rough shape but being very... And not going crazy over the lines, but just not bothering if there's bits of white left showing through. You could do it, you know, carefully if you wanted to, but I, I just like the look of just that touch of colour. And then I was going to do some green, and I can't remember what green I was going to use. I think I was going to use, oh, I was going to use, let's try this one. This is dark. No, I don't want anything dark. Light. 
pens going everywhere. Light granny apple green. And do the same on these leaves. Just the same, sort of just, you know, a touch of colour on each one. It's just not even bothering. Not bothering, I don't mean bothering, that sounds slack. Um, just not sort of being too... Just being casual with it. There you go, let's call it casual. Casual colouring. Okay, we'll just bring that up a bit closer. What do you think of that? That's quite cute, isn't it? Just watching for comments, sorry. I need to uh, I need to do something with my glasses so I can craft and watch my screen at the same time. Okay, so there. I thought as well, because we've got so many of these beautiful little butterflies, I thought I could do some, some butterflies. What I might do, because I've got the Highland Heather and the green there, I might do them in the blue. Just a nice blue, just a couple hanging around the flowers of our of our border so maybe one there yeah I like that one there maybe one up here how's that does everyone like that oh thank you Jenny yeah I hope it is a lovely card I hope the ladies that do my class are actually doing, I've got an in-house class on Anzac Day. Everyone's on holidays, so they're going to come for a class. And um, we're doing this this set for that class. So I'm hoping that they will like it as well. But if any of them are watching this video, they've got a um, bit, of a, bit of a preview. Oh, and I better do the other half of our um, sentiment, which is it's a million little things so that as you say the front of our card said our friendship isn't one big thing and the inside says it's a million little things which is very true isn't it about friendship so i'll just again do that in black and i'll pop that on i might actually pop that down in the in the in the um Rather than putting it in the middle, I'll put it down here um, in the corner of our little uh, our little edge, our little, um, what do we call it? Border. How's that? That's all right, Marilyn. That's fine. I um, I went a bit longer than usual because I thought I'd do the both the cards, but the box card is right at the very beginning. It's the first one I did. So, yeah, that turned out quite well, I think. Okay, so that's the inside of our card. Does everyone like that? And I'll just cut, pop that one in. Got bits and bobs and dimensionals everywhere. I have to clean this room up after this. Go. Yeah. <laughs> well, Wendy, yeah, <laughs> I think the inside is actually nicer in some respects. I do love that um, that border. I think I'm going to be doing it in all my cards from now on, even if I'm not using the Beauty of Bounds. Big bang out there. Okay, so there's the inside of our card, and there is the outside. So that's really nice, I think. So as I say, that's one of the cards I have designed for my online class and for the in-home class I'm having in April. So if you guys, you know, anyone in Hobart, you're happy to come, you know, happy for you to come along and, and do the class here or, you know, do it online and um, you get all the directions and the videos as well. So that's the two cards I've done today. I've done our, our Beauty Abounds and I've done our Garage grunge geared up garage birthday card there quite two different spectrums different ends of the spectrum there i've gone boys and probably something for your best girlfriend there as well so um there you go the extremes of card making in one video 
Um, so anyway, thanks for popping along, guys. Enjoy what's left of your um, Friday. Anyone who's not a demonstrator, if you would like me to be your demonstrator or to join my team, just let me know. Uh, you want to place an order online, I'm happy for you to elect me as your demonstrator. Um, everyone keep in mind that celebration ends on the 31st of March. So if you haven't heard about their amazing joining deals and uh, free items during celebration, um, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have for that as well. Um, let's say, let's be honest, it is the time of year for stamping up where the best deals and um, freebies can be had. And as I say, ending on the 31st of March. So anyway, um, as I say, thanks for joining me and um, have a great weekend. I'll see everyone later.